Hello all. In this tutorial we are going to learn how we can create simple animations in Unity 3D. Let us say we have a cube game object here. We want to rotate it continuously. We can do it within Unity without relying on other 3D animation softwares. So, the first step is to select the cube game object to which we want to apply the animation and open the animation window from top menu by clicking window then animation then animation. If the game object already does not have any animation clip assigned, the create button appears in the center of the animation window timeline area like here. Click the create button. Unity prompts you to save your new empty animation clip in your assets folder. We will name it as cube and save it. After creating a new animation clip, we can now see the animation window on top left which shows a timeline with a white playback headline, ready to record new keyframes. The clip's name is visible in the clip menu, just below the playback controls. The inspector shows that the cube game object has an animator component. And the controller field of the component shows that an animator controller asset called cube is assigned to it. The project window shows that two new assets have been created, an animator controller asset called cube and an animation clip asset called cube animation clip. The animator window shows the contents of the animator controller. There is a cube animation clip on the controller, and that it is in the default state. Subsequent clips you add to the controller have a gray color, indicating they are not the default state. Once you have saved the new animation clip asset, you are ready to begin adding keyframes to the clip. Let us animate the cube such that it rotates over a period of time. So, we add an animatable property in the animation window. A property can be position, rotation, etc. The line here is the timeline which consists of frames. We add property by clicking on add property. This presents us with a pop-up to select property which can be position, rotation, etc. To rotate the cube we add the rotation transform like so. The line, here, in the animation window is the timeline wherein we can animate the property over time. At frame 1 we set the rotation to desired value and add a keyframe like so. We move the slider to frame 60 and change the rotation to desired value and add a keyframe again like so. Now, the cube will rotate from frame 1 to 60 by interpolating the transform if we move the slider. So, let us run it to see that behavior. We have covered everything for this tutorial. I hope this helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button to show your support. Also, Consider to like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos. I post new videos frequently, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.